It was through investigating Fadi Nasri's deception and his enormous debts that police discover he may have had a motive for murder. During the investigation, we established that two or three months before her murder, Misha had taken out life insurance to cover the outstanding mortgage on their house. In the event of her death, husband Fadi stood to inherit the lot. This revelation changed everything. So all of this, you know, looked very, very suspicious and, you know, was very heavy circumstantial evidence against him. Now no, Fadi has been living a lie. He's been cheating on his wife with a glamorous younger woman and he's developed some very expensive spending habits. His friends are crooks and his business is in huge debt. Following Nisha's murder, friends, family and police initially believed Fatty as the grieving widower. He came over as genuine. He was concerned, he was distraught. He said, I need help, I need to find my wife's killers. But in retrospect, you look back and there is no emotion. Fatty Nasri had seemed like a respectable, hard-working businessman but Nick Scola's new Scotland Yard team have established that he appears to be friends with a notorious local criminal. He burst into tears, sobbed incessantly, almost as if it was a way of not having to talk to us, would absent himself from the room to go to the toilet to compose himself, come back in, and then burst into tears again, to the point where he answered no questions. And Fadi Nasri, the man who betrayed her and ordered her murder, both get 20 years minimum. This woman that he'd met five months earlier and convinced himself that she was going to be the woman of his dreams and that's why he killed his wife and he was going to live this magical life on the life insurance and nobody would ever suspect anything. I mean, what a fool. Swayed Nisha's grieving husband, Fatty, to make an appeal for witnesses. Obviously, someone's got a guilty conscience. Um, but someone's got to know something. Who lives around them, a neighbor, or seen some blood, or someone acting suspiciously or nervous. It might not be important, but just give us a call and let us know.